Welcome to Dowit Insurance, where our ultimate interest is to match your expectations to the underwriter's reality. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, indeed, it's a pleasure to be here to share with you what I have in mind. Um, but first of all, I want to acknowledge uh, the leadership of our great association. Um, it certainly is true that when you do these things alone, you cannot go far. And so let's give a round of applause to our leadership. Um, you know, the thing that separates us from the rest of God's creation, mammals particularly, I think they're the ones who are closer to us, isn't it? And maybe even apes and chimpanzees and the rest of those, is because we have acknowledged um, what happens with incremental value, yeah? So let me give you an example. When you have an ant, the ant will build its ant hill, and then the next ant will come and do the exact same thing, yeah? But we have managed to grow systematically from cave people and then into thatch houses and then into stone houses, isn't it, right? Because we are building a block on top of another, right? And I really believe that if we learn what has happened in the past as the insurance industry, and thank you, Dr. Tari, for taking us down uh, uh, memory lane, the way insurance used to be done those years, it completely is different. But today, I'm calling upon us to do this journey with me because I want us to rethink insurance and the way insurance has been done. So one of the right places to start rethinking it, eh, on Asamanga, Kimbele Mbele, Huenda, Mbele. What are you from this actually? I'm a two-hour book actually. Kimbele Mbele, Huenda? I promise you. So I want us to rethink this whole conversation. So even how we present ourselves out there. So now I'm writing my story, right? Do you see the word legacy? I want to build a legacy, yeah, of leadership and innovation. I choose to write my story and stand on top of those who've gone before us. I've been in the industry for a while, 20 years plus, and I select the word excellence. And ladies and gentlemen, the narrative you carry in your head, I promise you, that's what will happen over time. So join me in this journey of creating a new narrative, right? And the reality is, um, I was shafted by an insurance company that I used to work for. They refused to pay my claim. And I'll tell you the story <laughs> as we go along, right? Um, and while I've been doing this, I've been fortunate to serve customers well. Insurance companies have recognized me. Um, I want to thank ABSA for sending me here, right? Um, and it's really awesome, right? So even as we think through this conversation, who is a customer, okay? A customer is somebody who consumes whatever it is that you're dishing out, whether it is ideas, isn't it? Whether it is a product, a service, and I think we had a lot of insurance companies being called out here. And I wish, as we are having this conversation today, they will recognize the insurance agents in the room as their customers. Because we truly are. Oh, yeah, where are my 33 guys? One, two, three. Because that's the truth. And as we go through this conversation, I want to challenge and ask. Um, we went for a presentation with Charlene, uh, Mama Bima. Mama Bima, a we, we can cooperate, isn't it? Ah, yeah. And while we were there, the person who we were talking to um, is a, is, was talking about their business going lean, right? Yeah? And I really like the way the trainer communicated to the staff. He really cut through the chaff. 
And he said to them, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he told them, listen guys, lean is anything the customer will not pay for equals waste. Anything the customer is not willing to pay for equals waste. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's pause a moment and think. How much waste as insurance companies <laughs> or as an industry do we produce? Right? And sometimes we're wondering, why are we struggling with this whole conversation called insurance penetration? Is it possible that we are producing things that people are not willing to pay for? So I come with a message, ladies and gentlemen, and my desire is we change the way things are currently being done, okay? It's time for us to rethink this whole conversation about how we handle our customers, okay? This could be our internal customers, okay? And if I stand here, this is the principal agent relationship. So there's a customer scenario there, isn't it? Right? And then there's us guys here who are market facing. Isn't it? Okay. So let's carry this. There's a lot of technological advancements which are available for us to take advantage of. But I really don't know how we are using this. Have you guys experienced the challenge where we are asking a person who has had an accident to produce documents that he gave us at inception? At claims, we are asking for documents that we were given at inception. Is a customer willing to pay for that? Equals waste, isn't it? Right? So, when we get this information, is it available for our customer? Is it available for guys in claims? Is it available for the data analysts who are at one stage will have the ability to create new products? Right? And think about it, guys. We have an opportunity to embrace this technology. Let us acknowledge that technology is a tool that we can use for the betterment okay, of our industries, our business. We'll be able to be more efficient. Right? Now, we've been seeing startups coming left, right, and center. I kid you not, guys. They have something to offer if we listen. And I think there's opportunities for us guys to partner. And so sitting in this space and saying, okay, let me tease you guys. It is better to have a slice of a watermelon than 100% of a grape. Who's in agreement? I kid you not. So we have to begin to think that way, isn't it? And how can we cooperate? customer preferences are shifting. There's a way they want to be handled. Yeah? I think I see you guys are here. I know they have a very nice portal. Do you know there are guys who want to buy insurance from you, but they don't talk to you? They want, they want what you have, but they don't want to talk to you. They want to go through the entire journey on chat. Are you tooled for that? <laughs> right? And there are many. And there's somebody, and it depends. I know the things that the customers are asking for. Let me try and remember what I studied in school. They're talking about the, cust the, the, the generic value drivers. And I think we've probably heard about this. What is it that is important to your customer? And different customers have different needs. There's a customer who wants speed. Na wo uko hapo, munangangana na cost. The guy is willing to pay. So long as I get it, now. Kama si sasa, sasa hivi. Na uko pale unapingana na cost. It's not important to the customer. But how many of us are taking the time to think through who is my customer? What is it that they want? How do I show up for them? Right? Somebody, it's cost. Another person is, is just... Information, by the way, there are customers who will buy simply because they feel informed. Yeah? 
And let's not be that for the Christmas. You know that, what are those guys called? You only show up when it's time for renewal. I was laughing with my colleague there at the table that we're not using the data that we have correctly because sometimes we will even send uh, renewal notices for a vehicle that was written off and we are the ones who paid the claim. Uh, <laughs> are we guilty? Maze, <laughs> maze. And I thought to myself, let's carry the conversation about the customer and dear underwriters in the room, stakeholders and the rest of you, I really wish you would acknowledge our impact in this industry. Monizo percentages. Eh? This is in what I say. Your approach, you know, um, I don't know whether I want to be political here, but let me try and do it gently. So you all show up at our offices and have the common same story. Give us business. Give me Biashara. Who, who receives those ones? It's not a bad idea, by the way, to connect. Yeah? But what is it that I want? What is it? Have you, have you checked out? This intermediary does, for example, he's very good in individual life, right? So chances are, if we support that journey of individual life, that this person will blossom. And here is a new product that you do not know of that could help you do even thrive even more, even more in that space. We are all at different stages, the different intermediaries that are in town, and we're all struggling with this issue or the other issue, depending on where you are, right? Uh, there are people who are struggling with customer retention. When you come to me to tell me, give me Biashara, do you have ideas for me on how to retain the customers that I already have, which is my problem, right? And to the rest of us, I mean, Let's look and see how we can collaborate and look specifically at the various uh, uh, players and provide solutions that are meaningful to them. So even as we approach this whole conversation called the customer-centric approach, yeah? If you put the customer in the center, and you know that's how comes um, a lot of digital products fail. A lot of us in the insurance space have made the effort of going digital, underwriters and distributors alike. But we sit in a boardroom and imagine and say, this line is profitable. This is what we want to do. This is how we want to distribute. But we haven't gone to the end user, the customer, to find out what it is that they want. Yeah? I can tell you, for example, um, again, depending on the different stage that the intermediary could be at, and I'm sorry, I want, us to, I want to focus a little bit more about the intermediary because we don't have many forums as, as, as agents to communicate with the underwriters in a way that they can hear from us so that we can all jointly working together grow our industry. So some of my conversation might be skewed in that direction. But think about it. You will come to a certain agent and all they need, even when you think about those incentive programs, all they need is airtime to be able to be on the phone all the time. Another person might be thinking, guys, where do I get quality talent? Right? And those things are available, and you can help somebody think through the strategy, help somebody think through all those things. Right? So when you think about tailoring the interactions that you have with your specific agents, I suspect that's the best way to go. And one of the gaps that we have, uh, I guess, in, in all uh, interactions, is communication. There's what you're saying, and there's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Who knows that one? <laughs> there's what you're saying, and there's what you're... I don't know why I feel like going on a rabbit trail. But... Um, I remember once when, when we were newly married, Selam and I, uh, I call her and tell her, hey, my day is going like so, like so. I'm having a headache. 
then we call later and we uh, uh, it's lunch time have you eaten yeah 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 uh-huh. how's your day we go on and then i show up at home in the evening and she greets me and she asks me uh where is my medicine i'm like what medicine what are you talking about but i told you three times i had i had a headache <laughs> true story ladies and gentlemen is that how we are communicating with our customers like so <laughs> yeah there's what is said and there's what is heard so taking the time to hear what is this person what is this person communicating to me and how can i um connect with them so i repeat ladies and gentlemen from the underwriter's side when you think about partnerships yeah let's think about them a little bit more thoroughly and particularly as you recognize the space of the independent agent is growing and they're doing more and more bigger better things isn't it right so it's good if we explore uh this relationship and you will go and create for us a portal and i will go log in and do my thing there but guess what this company a that has given me a portal this company b that has given me a portal company c that has given me a portal guys now you're giving me work is there a way we can put all these things together yeah so me i just look at one system that gives me all the information i need oh begin your makofi maze I'm singing you I'm singing your song. I'm, see those are the pains you have. <laughs> those are the pains we have. And the reason why I took time to show this slide it's it's so that when we say these things I hope you appreciate the the contribution that we can bring and increase. Evelyn yesterday was sharing about the challenges that we have. and the reason why penetration is at an unfortunate below 3% isn't it and what were those things there was a conversation about uh, lack of money sindio but we have options whether it is ipf or i do not know but do people know about them yeah there was also a conversation about information about insurance um this morning i, I met a lady and she told me about a product first time hearing it promise you first time i heard about it yeah i think she's from ICA first time hearing about it i'm not advertising ICA by the way yeah but i i insist guys let's think about how we can connect in those areas iki to kanine and a blank okay Okay. The thing I wanted to talk about is the opportunities that we have, right? I think we have a lot more opportunities. I think this connector is not I don't know what's going on. Okay. I think let's go on. So, while we are approaching these challenges that we have, I think um we acknowledge that we have inefficient claim systems and the ball drops yeah can i dare the guys in the room the the intermediaries in the room and say when we live here can we wake up our minds and say that the only responsibility cl- my customer will have when they have a claim is to call me and i will handhold them through the entire process do you know how that small decision can change our industry like the only responsibility we have that my customer has at claim point is to call me and i will walk with them through to the very end yeah because the challenges that happen later on is we see people after you've bought the policy you're so happy in fact your company celebrates you right i love to me policy document kweli rongo Yeah? And then the customer is wondering, wait a minute. I've just spent how many millions? 1.2 million on this thing. I just have a receipt. And these guys and so they start going through the motions. They start going through, you know that thing that happens. I've just spent so much money. Will this thing work the way I hope it will work? But we should be there 
to talk with that customer and tell them you made the right decision actually this is what your policy has done for you oh by the way yeah when you were buying you were so excited i want to show you the other ways you can use your policy how early do they know about um, their, their, their expectations that the underwriter will have at them at the time when they have the claim. They'll be happy to receive that information before the day of the claim, isn't it? Yeah? So let's see how we can help bridge that gap. There are issues to do uh, with, with uh, feeling customer empathy. Yeah? The customer has struggled to raise that premium. The customer has struggled. And finally, they have been able to do what they have been able to do. It is important for us, it is important for us to show empathy, particularly at claim point. You know, by the way, eh, just accept that assignment of being an ambulance. When people need you, ambulance, police, you just a job. Insurance na kwanga hapo. Kwa sababu shida ikifanyikana, the first person to call, eh, niko hapa, kwanza new drivers, so you know them. <laughs> they don't even know what to do. And let me ask a simple question. As intermediaries, when we're thinking about these things, eh? how many calls in a day do you receive about an incident like that? And as your company continues to grow, how are you enabling the team, your support team, to be able to attend to those things? For sure, for sure, in a month, you will be called 15 times, it depends again, or 10 times about a scenario that you can actually prepare for and tool your team so that they can be able to respond to those things early, early enough, okay? So my, my request is, let us be able to use tools that help us. Our CRMs should be able to talk to, talk to one another. Dr. in the morning, you told us about the challenges of the way C-laws are run, yeah? This department doesn't know what that department has done, and it totally delays issues of claims and things like that. <laughs> When you talk about KYC verification, yeah, uh, IPRS or Saidia, whatever you say, you obey Chini, and you towards the Kusaidiana like that, okay? Um, I, I talked about the portals and how you guys can help us. There are individuals who will want their portals on your on your side, and there are those ones who will want to have their portals all consolidated. And today we have beautiful things called APIs, Sindio. Machines can talk to one another. Yesterday at lunch, I was talking to somebody, and I was thinking to myself, every time you go to Naivas, yeah, and you go to the till, that till is for that person who is there, and it's different from the person, the next person, isn't it? So how can we, as insurance companies, most of us agents, in fact, we don't want to take that premium. We want that premium paid directly to the insurance company. But I want control to know that so-and-so has paid and so that you can also process my commissions quickly, isn't it? Yes. Right? So why wouldn't you, as an insurance company, decide today, I will give a till or a M-Pesa Nino to this agent so that all their customers pay there. And he has access, he can see who has paid and who has not paid. Receipting is automated, isn't it? <laughs> a lot more control. So we actually have the tools and we are seeing these things happen every day, but we have not yet taken the time to see how these things can connect and help us resolve the challenges that we have today. So let us, let's not get hung up in those traditional ways of doing things. Yeah. Um, let's also appreciate that the next, when you're selling insurance, that person knows what you're about to say. In fact, they've done research. They're sitting there waiting for you to tell them something different from what they have that they already know. And then they call the next guy online. Isn't it? Because information is, information is everywhere. Isn't it? So I keep saying, guys, let's, let's think about these things. Let's think about, and let's use data to personalize the offerings that we are giving our customers. I like what I have heard from, I think it's Britam. Unengia kwa basi, unalipa premium, how many more options can we create like that? So I would bring insurance and really make it um, something that we can actually be able to use. You know, when we appreciate that the function that we play in this market is to insure dreams, 
When a person comes to talk to you about their product, they're thinking about their dreams. They're thinking about their legacy. They're thinking about all this time that they have spent working that can be rubbished by one incident that is insurable, by the way. Eh? So we handle them with care. So we handle them with, with care. Let's not bring red tape. But there is an insurance company, now in Iskia. They are selling a micro product in this market, and it has six and a half pages. It's a micro medical product, six and a half pages to be filled. And then they want a wet signature. And they want you and me to distribute it. How? The premium is Pesakidogo. But they have technology and we can be able to do this thing differently, right? Okay. Uh, let's not bring bureaucracy into this conversation and let's think about what the customer actually needs. Honestly, let's embrace technology. But I told you, it is my dream that as we consider insurance, I always say, lead with love. By the way, this job we do, huh? after the priest in the church, Nisisi. <laughs> By the way, Nisisi. Sisi ni tunaitonga kwa sababu mtoto amezaliwa. Tunatoa education policy. Si ndio? Kweli rongo? Wakifanya harusi, priest anaitwa, alafu wanaeka. Wanaanza biashara. Priest anaombe, alafu tuna tunaijua. Kweli rongo? Wakikufa priest anajulishwa, alafu tunalipa. My friends, it's the priest. <laughs> I promise you guys, the job we do if we do it well and we lead with love. It's loving God's people. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. And that way, you get the customer in their heart. Because what do we want to do? We want to move these people to a place of affinity. Oh, I like this guy. Right? To get them to the point where they buy. Awesome. And if you're a GI person, you want them to rebuy. And when they're really nice, they take us to a stage where they refer us. How is that happening if you don't love them? Yeah? And let's learn. Let's take time, join the kagiyas of the day, believe in learning. And I promise you we're going places. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not just doing insurance. We are insuring dreams. Thank you. Wow. All right, all right, all right. We are not just selling insurance, we are insuring dreams. Any questions? Oh, yes, questions. That is one. Any other? Just quickly, so that we wind up on the session. I have one question. Any other? Okay, so we'll take the one. Good morning. My name is Marianne Tumela Insurance Agency. So you forgot to tell us the story about how you were shafted by an insurance company. There was a guy sitting here who showed me time. So I didn't. <laughs> we would like to hear, please. Okay, they will want to hear your story briefly. How brief should be brief? Three minutes. Three minutes confirmed. Oh, there's a question that has come up. We agreed yesterday when I ask you raise hands, that's the ones I take. But I'll allow you just and this one. And there's another one there. Yes, and another one here. All right. So, okay. Let me get this and then your question. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Alice from Porter Touch Insurance Agency. I have loved this presentation because this speaks to us. Um, what I requesting, it's not a question, but I know the insurance company are talking about uh, refusing the digital things. We'd like to uh, give that feedback to them so that that's looked at, because it really slows things down. You in a you and you may attend. You may attend, they say, okay? <laughs> All but right. Thanks. Good morning. Um, Charlene, Mama Bima, Ken, that was an amazing presentation. Thank you. Um, I'm curious to know, in the spirit of embracing uh, the digital way of things, 
uh, what are some of the things that we as agents, leave alone the underwriters, what are some of the ways that we can do to ensure that we are really not being left behind? And because I know you are steps ahead in that, um, in that space, could you maybe just share with us briefly what you're doing at Dawit to ensure that you are staying digital? Okay. Perfect. So you have uh, the three minutes for the for the feedback and uh, t okay, for me. okay, okay. So three minutes and the two minutes. Please proceed. Okay. So um, you know, life is very interesting that you do not know when you're being made, right? They say it's they say change the way you look at things, and the things you look at will change, right? So I had this incident, I was a student, hot-blooded, and I had, those days, having a computer was umefika. You're not, you're not needing to store your, your, your work in a floppy drive. Now, some people who don't understand what that is, they think it's a save icon. That thing that looks like a save icon. And uh, I was fortunate enough because my father had given me his car. It was a station wagon. And I went to the bank, and uh should you to insurance. When you're given an opportunity, who are the people who buy insurance? Those around you, eh? eh? In finance, they call them what? Friends, family, and fools. The ones who, ins the ones who believe in your, the ones who believe in your thing initially, and then of course you become very good, right? So the friends and family. The family was my dad and uh, had insurance, and my laptop, which was in the car, got stolen. So I file a claim. And because I am an employee of the insurance company, for sure, for sure, for sure. I mean, this is, Dad, don't worry. Man, this thing is taken care of. But I was also really upset because my thumb paper was up in there. The insurance company came back with this thing called locked, booked, close. Locked, booked, close. <laughs> Station wagon. Those were the days you can't even tint your car. Because it's illegal, you'll be arrested. And I took the guy outside and I showed him the vehicle. By the way, I'm on the, I'm on the second floor, he's on the third floor. Kujo on igari. And then after that, he comes back with a piece of paper saying that I was negligent by leaving the car on the street. What are you doing? But I couldn't sleep. I was so vexed by that thing. Nikanda home, Nikalala. Kachora resignation later. Kenda kwa HR. Nikampatia. Nikamuliza, by the way. Tukiamka all of us in the morning. Tunamka nakufanya hivi. Like this is what we do. This is what we do. I will have nothing. Nothing to do with this. And I will not let anyone I know go through this pain. And that's why there exists David Insurance today. <laughs> yeah? So that's the story. Um, in regards to technology, um, we've, we use different things. Um, and I think my greatest advice is do not wait for perfection, right? If you see something that you think can work, do it. Attempt. Because you do not know what you do not know. Sindio? Yeah? So it is in that thing, and then you commit yourself to learning and continuous improvement, right? So you'll try, you'll work with this, it'll, it'll give you some utility, and then it breaks. But if it breaks, guess what? Yeah? So you remember we talked about um, how we incrementally learn and incrementally grow. So we build on that knowledge and go and try something else, and you continue building like that. Yeah? So I have tools that help me to manage my CRM. And also, um, some small, small social media experiments here and there, yeah? And a robust website. And that's all I have, yeah? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I also have Jehovah, my God, and our loving wife. Thank you very much. <laughs>